It's not the pale moon that excites me that thrills and delights me. I mean, Sound of Music is back, Matt. This is huge for Burlington. Yes. I gotta say, though, when I looked down the lineup, I was surprised to see your name there because people expect bands and like the the Canadian crooner Matt Dusk is performing at Sound of Music. How did this even come about? Well, I mean, I I performed there, I think about uh, maybe eight or 10 years ago, somewhere COVID kind of got me a little foggy Mm. on that one. Um, But when when we played there, we uh, the audience was really into it, like. Although we're kind of associated as being a jazz act, you got to remember that the music that I sing was once pop music, like Frank Sinatra was the kind of the first Justin Bieber. So a lot of the songs, even though people don't think of it as jazz, um, it becomes more of a pop thing and the crowd rocks out. So, you know, we might as well be an old school pop act. So is it different for you they're performing at a festival when people aren't necessarily You know, they're not they're there for the festival. It's not your super fans that are there. Does it change your perspective on how you choose your set list and and what you go out there to do? Absolutely. So there is like, uh, say, when we play something like Massey Hall or Roy Mm. Thompson Hall, it's it's a very refined set. There's a lot of highs, lows, ballads, you know, some really tender moments. On, on, on the outdoor festivals, you kind of got to think of yourself as like a busker where you have someone walking down a sidewalk and you have like two minutes to catch their attention. So a lot of the material we're playing is like super high energy, lots of uh, songs that people would be familiar with, like cover songs, anything from Queen to James Taylor to some of my own stuff. But it's all about excitement, creating that like, I want a beer. Let's go get some beer. I've got you. Under my skin, I've got you deep in the heart of me. But you did mention the name Frank Sinatra, and I've noticed, you know, we've all just been through the pandemic, and you kind of hunkered down and all of a sudden spit out two Sinatra albums. Is he the guy that got you into what you do? Absolutely. I mean, as a teenager, um, you know, you're always looking for elder male figures to kind of look up to or someone to aspire that, that you know, can mentor you. And and as a kid seeing all these, you know, I'm going to date myself here, but DVDs of seeing Frank Sinatra stuff. Here was a guy, an older gentleman dressed up in a tuxedo, drinking, always around, you know, the life of the party, pretty girls. And I was like, I want to be that guy. And what I found is, you know, in that era, there was a lot of music like uh, grunge music or rock and roll. I mean, specifically in the 90s, like Nirvana and Pearl Jam. And my voice didn't really relate to that, where uh, with the Sinatra catalog, everything was in like a range, like an octave or like church music that you could sing along with. So I was like, hey, if I can sing it and I can dress up in a fancy suit, Sinatra's the man. And what I realized is there was a lot of girls my age who also liked that it was a wonderful way to meet people well you mentioned uh the you know the suit and you're performing in a park this Mm -hmm. friday under perhaps blazing sun will you still be dressed to the nines wearing a suit in that environment in my contract it does say that uh from the the sound of music i cannot wear a banana hammock so i will be in a, a full suit not a bathing suit yes Love it. All right, it's 3.45 p.m. It's Friday at the TD Stage Sound of Music Festival. Matt Dusk is going to be there. Matt, thanks for doing this, man. Awesome. See you there on Friday. What do you say, babe? Come on, let's fly away. On a fine holiday. Let's hop on a plane.